I'll start out with a quote from the late Edward Said. Nothing in my mind, says Said, is more reprehensible than those habits of mind in the intellectual that induce avoidance, that characteristic turning away from a difficult and principled position which you know to be the right one, but which you decide not to take. You do, you do not want to appear too political. You want to keep a reputation for being balanced, objective, moderate. Personally, he says, I have encountered them in one of the toughest of all contemporary issues, Palestine, where fear of speaking out about one of the greatest injustices in modern history has hobbled, blinkered, muzzled many who know the truth and are in a position to serve it. For despite the abuse and vilification that any outspoken supporter of Palestinian rights and self-determination <laughs> earns for him or herself, the truth deserves to be spoken. I think because a determining factor that connects our struggle for rights, for equality, and for self-determination to the civil struggle for social justice and economic justice in this country is that our oppression and dispossession have made in the USA written all over them. A progressive transformation in your government's priorities from directing this nation's great wealth into wars and hegemony to investing in universal health care, dignified <laughs> housing, a school system that's conducive to critical and contextual learning and development, decent jobs, and reversing the fatal damage to the environment is not only good on its own merits for the people of this country, for the working men and women of this country, it's also good for the world, for Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Africa, Latin America, and most certainly for Palestine. A lot has been said about our campaign, the boycott, divestment, and sanctions campaign, by many, many sides. But as Said says, we need to tell the truth. What exactly are we facing that makes us call upon the world for BDS? There are three forms of oppression. It's often obscured. You often don't hear about them. You often hear about the occupation alone, as if that is the only ill uh, befelling Palestinians. In fact, that's not very accurate. It's the most talked about, but it's not the most important injustice that Palestinians have, are facing today. There are three forms of injustice that the Palestinian civil society call for BDS in 2005 focuses on. It's a comprehensive approach to Palestinian rights. First, the occupation, yes, and colonization of the 1967 territory, and that includes East Jerusalem, but also the system of racial discrimination within Israel itself, and that's a form of apartheid according to the UN definition of apartheid. And third and foremost is the right of return for Palestinian refugees that Israel has denied for six decades.